Jesus told the story of a dad who has two sons, which is portrayed in this pair of windows. Traditionally, the spotlight is on the runaway son who comes home. We've come to call him the prodigal son, which means irresponsible and wasteful. But it turns out that the son who stays home is the real target in the story told by Jesus. He represents the Pharisees, the proud religious leaders who looked down on everyone else. Jesus had no time for religion like this. Here's how the story unfolds. A man has two sons. The youngest son asks for his share of the inheritance and packs his belongings and goes to the city where he spends everything he has on wild living. When his money runs out, he finds himself working on a pig farm, longing to share their swill. So at last, Jesus says, he comes to his senses. He says to himself, I'll go home and I'll see if my father will take me on as a hired servant. So he starts the long walk home, going over in his mind what he's going to say to his dad. While he's still a long way off, his father sees him on the horizon and runs to meet him with open arms. The son has been rehearsing his speech. Father, I've sinned against both heaven and you, and I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. But his dad just wants to celebrate. He cuts his speech short, dresses him in a robe and throws a huge party. The father says, this son of mine was dead and has come back to life again. He was lost, but now he's found. But there's a sting in the tail. What about the brother who stayed home and worked with his dad? Ask yourself how you'd feel if that was you. You'd think you'd been doing everything right. You've worked hard, and maybe you've even been religious. The shock in the original story is that the brother refuses to join the party. He's angry because it doesn't seem fair to take back a rebel like his runaway younger brother. Strangely, you'll notice there's a character missing from this window. The angry older brother is replaced by the figure of the runaway's mother peering from the door. She's not even mentioned in the parable, and neither is the dog. Take some time to think through the story because it tells you a lot about the way God deals with us. At another point, Jesus says, God prefers one sinner who turns around and comes home to a self-righteous person who doesn't think he has a problem. Remember, it's the second brother who misses the party. Which one is most like you? <laughs>